My name is Jeff, I'm a local writer and editor, and tonight I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the neighborhood I grew up in, Hamden. Uh, like I said, I'm a native Baltimorean, and for 25 of my 30 years, I've grown up in the neighborhood of Hamden, uh, which is a north central community uh, right in the center of Baltimore. Uh, uh, Hamden is uh, pretty famous at this point. You've probably, if you only casually know it, have gone to see the Miracle on 34th Street with the Christmas lights, or have come for uh, uh, Hunt Fest or maybe Hamden Fest in the fall, which is a big arts festival that we do every year. Uh, and if you're more familiar with, with the area, uh, you've probably visited enough to go shopping or uh, taking the, the dinner and the nightlife or, uh, or hang out with the, the local arts community, uh, which has really grown in its time uh, since I've been there. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, Hamden is, with, with these two kind of communities, come together uh, to create a sort of what I call a quirky image, an image that, that's very uh, interesting. It's been written about in everything from the Washington Post to New York Times to a bunch of travel magazines, this, this new quirky area. Um, I myself am a native, so I grew up in what I kind of call Old Hamden or, or the Third Hamden, uh, which is kind of its core white working class community, uh, which you can still find some of the bars and, uh, and churches and, and on the street corners a little bit. Uh, or in organizations like the Boy Scouts. Uh, this is my parents. They're, they're typical, uh, they're, their story is atypical of the neighborhood. They uh, uh, moved into the area in 1982 without any real family connections where they raised my brother Kevin and I on uh, Roland Avenue, just a couple blocks from 36th Street. Uh, late 80s and 90s, Hamden had its pluses. It was a very safe community, especially in terms of violent crime. It was very affordable. Uh, my family was able to uh, buy a home there. Uh, and it had a lot of strong institutions, which were very important for my family in particular, especially for me, the Boy Scouts, and uh, the and churches. Um, late 80s and 90s, Hamden also had its issues. Uh, there was a lot of issues with drugs and crime, uh, like a lot of the rest of Baltimore. And specific to Hamden, we had a bad and sort of warranted reputation as a neighborhood that had a lot of racism uh, issues. Uh, it was interesting, I didn't realize growing up in an urban community uh, was unique until I went to college, but my brother and I came out fine, I think. My, I went to Tulane, and my brother uh, went to Juilliard and, and is sort of a renowned uh, modern dancer out of the Hubbard uh, studio in Chicago. Um, now, a lot of my friends I grew up with, their uh, communities were, were much more rooted in the neighborhood, uh, and they had relatives that go back upwards to 150 years uh, in, the, in the area, uh, who moved mainly from a lot of the rural, communi uh, rural communities uh, outside of Baltimore, uh, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, to work at the mill factories all along Jones Falls. Uh, for here, for hundreds of years, they made um, cotton and uh, flour products and uh, machinery products uh, and really supported uh, a certain type of, of lifestyle. Uh, when you look at these old photos, these are the great grandparents of a lot of the friends I grew up with, uh, names like Morgan and Hess and Martin. Uh, we're really part of the community, and when you look back, uh, you can find those names in the histories of kids I grew up with. Um, this is my friend Angela. Uh, her, name, her last name is Schaefer. Uh, the Schaefers have been in the community uh, for at least uh, 100 years, uh, going back to uh, when her ancestors first moved to the area from uh, Cecil County. This is Mamie and Clarence Schaefer. Mamie and Clarence moved to the area sometime between 1900 and 1910 to take advantage of job opportunities. Uh, Clarence kind of disappeared from the historical record pretty quickly, but Mamie is a uh, is sort of a matriarch for uh, 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 dozens of people in the community. Uh, the Schaefers, again, have been there for hundreds of years, for a hundred years, and uh, Angela in particular was the first person in her family to get a college education. Her brothers, Matt and Greg, who are great friends of mine, uh, were also, uh, also followed suit with college educations. But most of the guys I know from the community uh, grew up uh, in a blue collar existence. Uh, not a lot of college educations, but guys make up the backbones for firefight departments, uh, military, bartenders, plumbers and steam fitters, uh, regional managers for big chain companies. So. And then there's a lot of kids who, when I look at these old photos, uh, I know their histories, I know the drug issues they may have gone through, uh, and I'm just sort of glad to see them alive. It's uh, the bell curve that a lot of kids in my neighborhood uh, lived with at the time. Uh, our road from that old neighborhood to what is there today started around 1992 when Cafe Honda opened. It's been a steady uh, change since then. Uh, in 2012, we were named one of the top history neighborhoods by Forbes. Uh, so that's been interesting as a native to see that. Um, and the future is only going to uh, become more in the neighborhood. There's going to be more people, more retail, thankfully more diversity, and uh, definitely more money, which brings its own pluses and minuses. 
Um, we had a reunion a couple of years ago for elementary school, which was uh, fun to attend. Uh, I really like the neighborhood now, since I still live there. Um, but I really love growing up there as well, and it's a great community that's really shaped my life. And uh, I'm really glad to know these people who I still love and respect.